Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel. For this video I'm going to be looking at a Scottish product that I only recently came across and it is another gin that I think has only recently started to be produced uh, but I will get onto that in a moment. Uh, before I do go any further, a wee bit of housekeeping first. If you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell Leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page, the channel's TikTok account and the PayPal account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comments section. So with that out of the road, what we're going to be talking about is uh, the Sky Garden Gin from the Dark Art Distillery. So they are a Galloway gin and drinking at angle, it's not getting too much a reflection on it. But I actually do really like the bottle on this. So I don't know how clear it is it actually comes out, but uh, what design they have on the bottle essentially is a forest and you can see the constellations on the side of the bottle. And essentially that is to celebrate the fact that the Galloway region of Scotland, which is part of Dumfries and Galloway, which is right down the south west of Scotland, is a, di a dark sky area uh, in Scotland. Uh, they've got the Galloway Forest, which is quite well known for being uh, a really good area for going stargazing and being able to see the night sky. It does have something on we say just to read that out as well. So it's Sky Garden is a classic dry gin, handcrafted to delight the, the purists, inspired by the famously clear night skies above the Galloway Forest Park, to create a gin with a crisp and fresh note, the twinkling of nighttime blooming botanicals. Yeah, so that is pretty much explains the design of the bottle. And yeah, I do love the fact that it, it does celebrate the area in which the gin does come from. And um, yeah, I'm trying to get this foil off. That's always the hardest bit. Oh, that's the foil off. Time to do the but obligatory uh, sniff test. Mmm. Oh, I really like to smell this one. It just has that kind of really subtle, kind of very botanical smell to it. It's not, over, not overpowering at all. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. has it back on. A bit of a kind of citrusy smell to it as well. So probably kind of quite nice with a little bit of orange or a little bit of lemon. So a obligatory taste test before I put the tone again. Oh I really like that. Again it's it has a bit of a warmth to it when you're, when you're drinking it just straight. And even though you are getting the citrusy hints to it, you are, you are getting very much a lot of the, uh, the, the the botanicals in it. It's not overpowering. It's not it's not too in your face. It's a very nice, relaxed gin. That yeah, it's just one that yeah, it's a very easy to drink. <laughs> probably verging on but being a bit too easy to drink but then again we all like something that we can just sit back relax and enjoy and as always it usually does have a slight, slightly different t uh, taste after the tonic goes in yeah very subtle Yeah, 
yeah, very refreshing. Does that again, as I was saying, before and even before and after the tonic, it still has that citrusy hint to it. So it definitely would be very nice with just a wee bit of orange or lemon, as I was saying. Yes. It's a very, very nice gin. Very, very subtle flavours. Very easy to drink. And yeah, it's definitely one that I will be adding to my list of gins that I will, will buy in future. And because sometimes you find with some gins, they put out, uh, they put in far too much effort into the the bottle and not enough effort into the gin. Uh, with the uh, Dark Art Distillery, I think they've struck a really nice balance. They have a really nice striking bottle, which when you do see it on display, you, it does catch your eye. But the gin itself is a very nice gin. Very palatable, very clean, very fresh. Again, as I was saying, has that citrusy, citrusy undertone. Very easy to drink, and yeah. So if you're ever, if you're ever in Kukupri, and you are maybe going to want to get a bottle yourself, if you go into the, the Johnson Building, which is where the distillery is located, so they are neighbours with the Deep Space Planetarium. Uh, if you go into the build, if you go into the Johnson Building, and the distillery is open, uh, you can buy a bottle directly from the distillery. Uh, and I think it's, it was the shop across the road, it was the shop with the blue paint, uh, the, the blue, blue Vantage, uh, also sold these gents. Uh, and that's where I got this one from. But I, I will put in a link to the website, hopefully you will, will be able to order directly from them as well. So I will link that into the description bar below and the, and the pinned comment as well. So if you want to look them up, you can definitely find out more on their website. But definitely one that I would recommend to anyone who enjoys a good gin or enjoys a good Scottish gin. Definitely get yourself or and treat yourself to a bottle of Sky Garden by the Dark Arts Distillery. So hopefully you will have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you all found the Dark Arts uh, well, the Dark Arts Distillery intriguing. I can't talk now. Uh, intriguing and interesting, and you'll have a look at the website. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.